Well, I worked my way down a little ways and I've spotted my first prospect rock and it's red. So, looks like a keeper already. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's a nice, nice red jasper. Be keeping that one. Super cool spot I'm at now. And I was just thinking, look at that bank. There's actually a channel on the other side too. And it just about oh, nothing but rocks a little bit of soil because of the trees. But anyway, I was thinking, man, this is a beautiful spot. And I'm looking down in the water and I see this quite large piece of what looks like petrified wood. Uh, I would say it's three foot long, two foot across. I don't know how thick, but kind of hard to see here. So I'm gonna take you underwater. See a nice piece of uh, big jasper, kind of purplish, and then I do see red. Uh, it doesn't look strikingly red, but I'll take it out in a minute. Got the big one out. It's just not red enough for me. Might be the same with this one down here, but gotta check it out. Shows a little promise down here. Oh. Yeah. Not sure. I see a piece of red over sitting on that rock. I'm gonna guess someone put it there, but not sure. I'll rinse it. nice piece but it just doesn't have that vibrant red
Got some nice marbling. I'd probably take it if I was uh, much closer to my truck. I can get this one out. I'll have to give it a try. Well, I've been going at this rock for about 10 minutes now. Still haven't gotten it out. I'm not sure it's Jasper. Now I'd say it's a big agate, but back to it. Okay, I got it loose. I haven't taken it out yet. So you can check it out first. big uh, it's a big agate pretty definitely a keeper so we got about five rocks here six I don't know that uh, I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna take them further or not so you can check them out here Pretty interesting with the green in there. I'm almost thinking this could be uh, Otroidal Jade, possibly. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. <laughs> So I'm really curious to cut this one open and see what we got inside. I was thinking it was Petroidal Jade, possibly. And kind of gauging what's a good place to cut it. And this one actually is not not too bad cutting, cut pretty quick. I didn't slow it down or anything, so. Looking at it, I'd say it's either a jade or a diopside. And I'd have to do a specific gravity test on it. To determine this is, is probably some petrified wood. Yeah, just about positive. I'm going to keep this little one. I can grind a nice pendant out of that. I 
don't find many of these. I do have a, a couple. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or leave it. Another petrified wood. Not sure what that bright red is. This jasper has some really cool striping. Yeah, that... I don't know about the back. Kinda. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. It's a little bit big. I'm going to take it for now. So I took a side trip down one of the alternate, alternate routes here. And I can see that the river, well, I, I can just barely see the water. I'd say that's about 200 yards. So all these rocks, uh, I can look at some other time. It'd be really nice to look at them if it rains because uh, it take a lot of concentration to look through these without rain. And I already walked uh, a ways here and I definitely see stuff with potential. But, like I say, it would be nice if this area was wet. Bunch of bedrock there. Pretty trees, probably like some mountain lion or Bigfoot up there watching me. But, it's okay if he leaves me alone. So I just stopped to grab a quick drink of water and my life straw and look at this piece of jasper. Probably about two and a half foot long, a little over a foot wide. Looks like a pretty cool piece of jasper down here, but it looks maybe like it's lodged in or a little too big. Yeah, this is a pretty amazing spot. Beautiful day. Gonna head down this way for a while. I'm not sure how long, but just standing here. It's like so nice. I'm so lucky to be able to come out, do something I really love, and hopefully you're along with me. And there's my bucket. It's with me, kind of. But I really enjoy it and I appreciate you watching my videos and if you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. 
and if you can subscribe it'd be great and also check out my patreon channel Yeah, because the bedrock around here doesn't look like this. Pretty crazy. You need an awful big crane to get this out and put it in your yard, but Man, would it be cool. Crazy. Well, I just pulled a decent piece out of, of red out. A little behind me so you can take a look here. Nice, very nice. Well, I think I'm down as far as I'm gonna go today. And maybe I can remember about that stump with the tree growing out. Uh, I'll have to think about what's the next spot I can make it so I can come back this way. I think it's a ways down. So, kind of down to the time of day, I can see red. I mean, I see some beautiful rocks in there. And I got a couple of red ones I just found. This one's kind of purple. Purple with a little bit of green. And this one's got some nice reds on it. But I know I got another one up there and my bucket's 100 yards up. So I'll just start carrying these and if I gotta leave some, I gotta leave some. So as I'm heading back up towards my bucket, I climbed up on this rock. I'm holding some rocks. I'm taking back to my bucket. And just enjoying the view. Pretty cool. And looking for red. And just right below me, see some beautiful looking red. be a no-go but so after about a half hour I got this rock out and it's a pretty nice rock definitely has uh, some decent traces of that really bright Ferrari red but not a ton of it I mean inside who knows but I'm gonna guess it weighs, well I haven't lifted it up, but just by looking at it, uh, around 50 pounds. So I might carry it for a short time and see how I feel. Well, I carried this big rock, I'd say it's more like 45 pounds. And I'm just going to set it on top of this, what I think is giant 
petrified wood and uh, might get it another day. I'm going to take this little pile and I see my bucket is about 80 yards and I'm still going to look for something else. So, so I know where this one is anyway. I could always make a trip down just for it. It actually looks like it would fit in my bucket. So... Well, what do you know? There's my dear friend, the deer, eating an apple that dropped. And here was the finds for that particular day. Pretty cool stuff. Some red jasper, a few agates, petrified wood, beautiful striped jasper. Yep, it was a great time. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Patreon channel. Thank you.